Hey y'all, hope you're having a good one. Today we're gonna do something a little light and fun. Do a YouTube staple, which is the tier list video. But unlike a lot of these tier lists, specifically anime tier lists, we're not gonna be talking about the actual quality of the shows or anything. We're gonna be talking about the fan bases because I spend way too much time on the internet and there are some truly depraved people out there. My intention is not to hurt anyone's feelings, however, feelings will be hurt. And before we get started, I got two disclaimers here, all right? Number one, just because I rate something in the S or A tier towards the top doesn't mean I think it's perfect. No matter what, any large group of people is gonna have some obnoxious, annoying people in it. And just because something is at the bottom doesn't mean that everyone in it sucks. All of these are relative to all the other ones. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of generalizations here, but none of this is supposed to be like a character attack or an attack on you as a person because your favorite show is wherever it ends up being on the list. So let's not waste any more time. Let's start with this tier list shall we all right so since this list is relative we're gonna start with the most basic fandom out there the dragon ball fandom why because everybody watched dragon ball right and most of the people who watched it are already grown-ass adults now a lot of them probably have kids who watch anime at this point you can't really get more basic than the dragon ball fans and yeah will he be goku will he be goku yes that is obnoxious but that's like the only criticism of the dragon ball fandom that anyone has and it's mostly a meme like nobody thinks that that makes dragon ball better than whatever other show right so dragon ball goes in the b tier this is a definition of a B tier fan base. All right, Hunter Hunter. Listen, I love Hunter Hunter, one of the best shows on this list, but these fans are kind of pretentious, all right? You can't even you can't even deny. It. You know as soon as somebody says they don't like Hunter Hunter, half of the fan base is just like uh, they're going to pop a blood vessel like you just don't understand the depth. When you want you just go back to your dumb Naruto and Dragon Ball of punchy punchy shows, huh? <laughs> Like, there's a serious issue with people who having superiority complexes in the Hunter Hunter fan base. And for that reason, I'm putting y'all in the C tier. I'm sorry. It's just, there's too many obnoxious, like, pretentious elitists in this fandom. And no matter how much you like the show, you can't deny that I'm speaking facts. You've seen these people. Okay, Bleach. Bleach is not in my top 10. Or in my top 20. Probably not even in my top 30. But Bleach fans? Bleach fans are elite, okay? Bleach fans go in the S tier. You know why? Because they're just happy to be here, all right? All they want is for you to put some basic respect on their name and remember that they're part of the big three. Just give them the basic respect that they have earned and they have no smoke, no beef with any other fan base. They just like what they like and they're cool. They're chill, all right? The vibes are immaculate. They pass the vibe check. Uh, I would want to hang out with a Bleach fan more than most fans of these other shows because they're just vibing. They're just happy to be there. What do we got, JoJo's? All right, let me tell you something. JoJo's is one of the most overhated fandoms out there. Everybody is always talking about how annoying JoJo fans are because they just keep yelling aura aura. And yeah, there's some annoying ass kids who keep yelling aura aura. But like, there is so much good shit in this fandom. Like the contribution to like meme culture and internet culture, you can't overestimate it. They're laid back as hell because it's JoJo's. They're creative as hell because it's JoJo's. And usually pretty fucking woke because the Rockies woke as fuck. Everybody knows that. And even the obnoxious aura aura kids are so easy to ignore like you just roll your eyes and ignore them like they're not hurting anyone i legit believe the jojo fandom deserves to be in the a tier they would be s tier if it wasn't for that one group of kids who keep spamming the same boring jojo references everywhere what's next naruto okay naruto should be next to dragon ball because it's like a very popular mainstream show but ever since i downloaded this app called tiktok the naruto fandom has been driving me crazy you can't have a conversation with most of these people they, they can't accept any criticism <laughs> they can't separate the thing they love from legitimate criticism of that thing it's so annoying like this the immaturity levels are at an all-time high you can tell like there's a lot of new fans who are just getting into naruto and the immaturity shows right whereas the dragon ball fans have overall probably just grown out of that phase the older naruto fans are pretty chill but the younger ones you y'all drag it down to the d tier i'm sorry i can't deal with you people and even on tiktok like there's a few big creators on there who reinforce this very toxic mentality that the naruto fandom has i ain't gonna name names but i've seen it a lot all right what's next Q. listen i know a lot of people don't like the shipping in Q. i do not give two shits if someone wants to ship two guys together even though they're not explicitly gay i don't care like if you care about that why do you care about that the problem with the Haikyuu fans is that they dominate any discussion of actual volleyball. No matter where you go on the internet, you can't talk about volleyball without these Haikyuu fans busting in and making Haikyuu references and beating them to the ground. It's so much worse than the JoJo's references because JoJo references are spread out across a lot of different areas. You find them in random places. But the Haikyuu stuff is so concentrated towards this one real world community and that community isn't even that big. So they end up just hijacking all of the discussion like listen i know you guys mean well and you just want to show how excited you are but please stop 
please just just cool it c tier that's where you belong demon slayer all right bear with me here is it just me or for an anime this popular is the demon slayer fandom completely like dead like there's no stereotype that i can even think of for this fandom i can't think of like a culture for the demon slayer fandom like what even is it what do they do what is their identity i can't think of anything it's just dead it's just bland as hell just like tanjiro <laughs> i'm sorry that was uncalled for but demon slayer i gotta put you in the seats here like I, I can't even think of anything to say about these people like wh who are they where are they what do they do my hero academia honestly most of my hero fans are really chill like it, legit you can complain about shipping but again shipping is not a valid criticism like who cares if there's a lot of people out there who think two fictional characters make a good couple like why why is that a problem however there is that one corner of the my hero fan base that takes things way too far and i do believe that it's a very small corner but we've all seen those people we all we all know you know you don't need me to tell you if you're on this video you you know you know those people so even though i do think they get too much hate i can't put them too high they gotta be in the b tier for me they're all right overall like most of them are higher than that but the worst ones are mm. fairy tale fans i've never seen an actual fairy tale fan i feel like fairy tale fans are too embarrassed to admit that they like fairy tale <laughs> or maybe uh, it's because their parents are monitoring their screen time so they can't really participate in online culture that much i don't know but whatever the reason there's not really much to say about them so i'm just gonna stick them in the c tier all right one piece like one piece fans i would say overall pretty chill you know most one piece fans i know pretty nice but i do think they have the same problem as like the hunter hunter fans where like the one piece is the best thing ever narrative is so strong that they can come off as very like condescending and elitist when they're comparing stuff to like other anime but overall they're okay like they're not as obnoxious about it as the hunter hunter fans so i'm gonna put them in the b tier you know i'm putting them right above my hero jjk jujutsu kaisen let me tell you something about jujutsu kaisen fans these people are elite bro the meme game in this fandom is absolute fire but it is like the youngest fandom the newest fandom out of all these there's a lot of time for things to go downhill but right now the vibes are immaculate every single thing that i've seen in this fandom is just like good vibes top to bottom s tier absolutely you know even above bleach there was an ss this would be the first one in there food wars why did i put this here i don't know but y'all are weird fmab full metal alchemist brotherhood you know what let me tell you something every fmab fan i've seen online or real life has been chill as hell like they're the type of people who like anime but they don't associate with like the fucked up parts of the anime fandom you know they're like the people who go outside this is also my favorite anime but i can't put it in the s tier because there's this one contingent of fmab fans on my anime list who are absolutely crazy and will go around giving one stars to anything that even comes close to it it's so stupid why do you care so much i don't know who these people are in real life because like they're anonymous but you're dragging it down bro next up we got attack on titan all right listen this is why the f tier is here baby how can you get worse than this fandom they have like the infinity gauntlet of shitty fandom traits all right they send death threats they have the toxicity around chapter 139 all the infighting they got all the wit versus mappa toxic people they got all the immaturity of the naruto fans they're as pretentious and elitist as the hunter hunter fans and you combine all that with like really loaded subject matter like genocide and world war ii parallels and you end up with people like apologizing for fascism and shit like how how can you even get more toxic than this phantom someone tell me how it's possible and maybe i'll change this black clover all right i've never watched a red black clover but i have to give the black clover fans their due i have to give them their props because they like what they like and they don't care what anyone else says because when this show first came out it was cool to hate on it everybody was shitting on it but they stuck with their guns they liked what they liked and now what's happening years later oh people are coming around you know black clover is kind of good now it's kind of fire now everybody's coming around like these guys are like the real world shonen protagonists they just didn't care they put up with all the adversity until they earned people's respect Respect, so i have to give them their props i can't put you s tier because i don't actually watch the show but a tier for sure i respect you guys promise neverland all right listen considering how bad promise neverland got i feel like it should be a lot more toxic than it actually is but i feel like in this case it got so bad that there's no controversy like there's nothing to even argue about because we're all on the same page like yeah it's horrible maybe the manga was more controversial because i know there was a bit more divisive opinions on that but like Overall, I think it's actually a pretty okay fandom. I'm gonna put you all in the B tier. All right, I don't watch Fire Force, and the only thing I know about this show is that there's a shit ton of fan service. Like, that's the only thing I know about Fire Force, even though it's had two full seasons out already. 
I've seen some of the fan servicey shit and it's kind of fucked up, all right? My boy watches this show and he's like, yo, everything about it is really good, but the fan service is so bad that it makes it almost unwatchable. And if my trusted boy is saying that, then I got bad vibes about people in this fandom, all right? I'm sorry, but <laughs> see <it's> here. <laughs> like, you're not horrible because I don't actually know you people, but like... <sighs> Tokyo Ghoul. All right, technically seinen, but it's like shonen adjacent. And the anime version is basically shonen. Now, I don't know how bad the fandom got when those garbage ass anime seasons were coming out because I got into Tokyo Ghoul after the anime and manga already ended. And at this point, like the fandom seems pretty chill. Everybody's just kind of like on the same page. They're like, bro, can we have a good anime adaptation, please? They're just like on their knees begging. Please, God, can we get Tokyo Ghoul Brotherhood? And I'm on the same page. I respect that struggle. Tokyo Ghoul deserves a much better adaptation. So I'm just going to put you all on the B tier good fandom seven deadly sins all right i don't actually know much about seven deadly sins but the thing that i do know about it is like kind of like fire force there's a lot of weird fan servicey shit and i also know that there's a lot of complaints about the animation in the latter seasons so like i said my inclination is to not trust people who get real into fan servicey shit so i'm just gonna put y'all in the ski tier but this is mostly ignorance this is this is a stretch yu yu Hakusho. all right yu yu Hakusho fans that i've seen are pretty chill because the show is so old so most of them are really old by now but because the show is so old there isn't really that strong of of a fandom around it anymore it's been over for so long i feel like they've just been annexed by the hunter hunter fans at this point so like you guys are cool but like you don't really exist anymore as an independent group so i'm just gonna stick you guys in the seats here but it's nothing personal i'm sorry <laughs> gintama all right gintama fans are pretty elite i'm not gonna lie like they have a lot of the same traits as the jojo fans where they're like laid back they don't take themselves too seriously and they're very creative but they don't have the annoying aspects of the jojo fandom because there's not as many 12 year olds yelling aura aura so that's a strong a tier for gintama and with that we are done the list so that's it that's the list for the record the ones i haven't seen are fairy tale fire force seven deadly sins and black clover i'm just more or less spitballing on those ones but i have seen all of the other shows on this list or read the manga i hope nobody's too pissed off at any of this like it's all in good fun at the end of the day so anyways let me know how you feel about this list let me know what you would change or adjust because i'm sure some of you have very strong opinions about the placement of your favorite show <laughs> and as time goes on we'll see how this changes so maybe i'll do another one in the future at some point you never know but that's it for me. I'm going to call it a day. See ya.